and to do things and, and force that repetition almost. I'm looking at Claire Emsley and I'm looking at Mark and they've got such a big job tonight. Just in terms of pushing that Belgian back line. Emsley here. Evans coming in, that's behind everyone. And the shot is saved by Ivra. It's Aaron Cuthbert. And that late run through. They're finding joy with the ball over the top of the defence there. Yeah, it's good play from Scotland. That's exactly what they need more of. Runners in behind, and that's where I was just going to come to. Claire Emsley, Martha Thomas, Lisa Evans and Fiona Brown off the side. It's a big job. They need to go and open the space. They need to look to try and breach. Lap chases the and keys. Not to lose it. Searching for again, Park watching, there's the chance, and Belgium have scored, a lovely move on the left, and no one picking up for Scotland inside the penalty area. Yes, we'll look from a Belgian perspective, you mentioned, but it's far too easy for Scotland, they get dragged about, Lee Sevens and Jenna Clark, both ball watching, Jenna Clark just gets caught with that ball inside, the movement of Rulak takes nothing away, she's a very intelligent baller. She does really well, she holds the line. And then when you look at the amount of jerseys though that Scotland have inside the penalty area, nobody gets close enough, nobody prevents a shot and, and there's not an awful lot that Sandy McKeever can do either in the Scotland goal. She's left very exposed. Apologies for any issues you're picking up with the audio at home. I hope to get that fixed as soon as possible. Scotland continue. Cuthbert from long range. Oh, superb from Erin Cuthbert. If Scotland need to call on someone, Erin Cuthbert can so often be that player. Another bit of magic from her, and Scotland have levelled it. It's fantastic, isn't it? What a response from Scotland for everything that they've tried to do. Again, Kirsty McLean here, she does really well, just keeping the ball alive. Erin Cuthbert, nobody presses her, no one gets close enough, Van Havermark sees her, she doesn't close the space, we know the technical ability that Erin Cuthbert has, Everard doesn't expect it, the execution is really sweet, just enough height on it to the goalkeeper, in Scotland are back levelling, what a huge goal that could be tonight, or can you go and ask questions, can you force Belgium to defend, give yourself the best opportunity to attack and attack with that real threat and intent that Scotland hopefully can show from this corner. Cuthbert's out swinger, Emsley with the flick on, Jenna Clark is there. And she maybe just caught that early as it goes wide, but she had her hands on her face, she knew that was a big, big chance to look to add to that goal she scored on her debut against the Faroe Islands. Oh, it's more than a big chance, Stuart, it's absolutely huge. She's got to do better. She's the wrong. She's got the wrong side of Van Haver, Matt. You've got to expect it when you're in that box as an attacking player, an offensive player. You have to expect the ball to arrive at you. He wants those Scotland chances to count. There's been a couple. First side, the first ten minutes of the second period. Good work from Evans. Emsley for Thomas. Lisa Evans points. The ball's behind her. And there's the shot, and that whistles past the post. Scotland not far away, and again, getting those numbers forward and finding the spaces. Yeah, it's better play. Lisa Evans actually does really well because Martha Thomas receives it here. You can see where Lisa Evans wants the ball. She wants it in front of her. The cutback comes behind her. I think Lisa Evans is, is potentially asking for a penalty as well, although I don't see there being too much contact. This angle might give us a better look at it. Alexander Misipo. Tissiak. one with the Scotland midfield. There's Kaiman. Or Yasina Bloom. Exchange again. One crosses. Scotland half clear. Rula on the right foot. Comfortably taken by McKeever. Important save from the Scotland goalkeeper. As Belgium are building the pressure there. Yeah, in the end, it's a, a comfortable one for Sandy McKeever. You would need to say 
just mentioned the quality that, that Tessa Woolart has. Certainly she'll be disappointed with the end product that she's produced. A number of Scotland bodies around her. She just doesn't have to dig out the shot right enough. Goes straight at Sandy McKeever. She gets down low, gathers well, takes the pressure off her side. Scotland will certainly be hoping that they can get a break and play at some point. You mentioned the two substitutions that look ready. Yeah, it's a big 15 minutes, isn't it, for both sides. Belgium have that incentive as well. They'll know only too well, I would imagine, the, the scoreline in the other game. What that would mean for their destiny in this group as well. Hansen away from Kaiman. Good delivery over. And just stabbed wide by Amy Gallagher. I think driving again on the left wing. Yeah, for meets up there again with, with one of Scotland's best chances. It's everything that you would want. It's the reason why Kirsty Hansen has been moved out to that left-hand side. You spoke about that threat that she carried against England. But there will be no added time to be played. There's a flat end to this one in Leuven for Scotland. They required a win. It didn't come. It's another draw with Belgium. It's not enough. And Scotland will finish at the bottom of Group A1 in the Nations League.